Fear and hope in Allah are two medicines for the heart. The Salaf used to forbid others from sitting with the innovators, looking into their books and listening to their speech. Truly, the Salaf used to love whoever makes them aware of their deficiencies, and the most hated people to us now are those who make us recognize our deficiencies. A disbeliever cannot be the wali of a Muslim woman under any circumstances, according to scholarly consensus. The sins of the tongue are many. They have a certain taste in the heart, and they spring forth from a person's nature. If a man were to throw a stone into his house for every sin he commits, his house would be filled within a very short period of time. But he doesn't pay much attention to remembering his sins. The believer is a prisoner in this world, striving to ransom himself from hell, and nothing will make him feel secure until he meets Allah. The moment you found your heart absent during Salah, know that it is due to weakness in faith. Make efforts to correct it. Fear of Allah isn't due to having many sins. Rather, it's from having a pure heart and perfection in your knowledge of Allah. Rely on God like a drowning man who knows not any other means to salvation but God. It's obligatory on the wali of child to educate him on Salat Tahara when he is seven. Know that when Allah intends good for his servant, he makes him aware of his own defects, i.e., so he can repent. And know that many men were destroyed due to their fear of people's criticism and love for their praise. Solitude saves you from the evil of people. Imayan is a statement of the tongue, an action of the limbs and a belief of the heart. It increases with obedience and decreases with disobedience. Ibn Qudama was asked, Who is the felicitous? He said, The one whose reward continues even after his breaths have stopped. You are more worried about people catching you sinning than Allah seeing you. Know that not everyone is suitable to be your friend. Chosen company should have five qualities. Intellect, good character, not a sinner, a heretic, upon bid'ah, or eager for donia. The Salaf used to love the one who would point out their faults to them. There is no problem with drying oneself after performing wudu. The Salaf used to love the one who would show them their faults, while we hate the one most who informs us of our flaws. If a man experiences a wet dream, this does not invalidate his fast.
patience is the persistence of the religious impulse in face of the impulse of desire. Women of Salaf used to say, Beware of harem earning, for we can be patient upon hunger but not fire. Know that envy is a great disease of the hearts, and the diseases of the hearts are not cured except with knowledge and action. If a person knows there is a defect in his goods, it's impermissible for him to sell them unless he discloses it to the purchaser. If he does not disclose it, then he is sinning. If a person knows everything yet does not know Allah, it is as if he knows nothing at all. The Salaf used to forbid sitting with the people of innovations, looking into their books and listening to their words. Allah has created two gates for the tongue, your teeth and lips, Learn to use your gates properly. Life is short. Your days are numbered and every breath that you take steals away part of your life. Heedlessness is the origin of sins. When one slanders you, you should be thankful that he spoke something about you which was untrue. For there are many blemishes on your account which are true, which Allah hid from the world. This life is indeed brief and eternal life is in only two outcomes, everlasting bliss or unending torment. May Allah accept good deeds from us and from you. Refresh yourself through your intimate conversation with Him and enjoy His worship. Thanks for watching.